Mike Moore Media. I'm talking to Mary Ryan, Rockingham County artist. In fact, she's painting another mural right now. She's taking a break so we can talk. Hey, Mary. Hi, Mike. What are you working on right now? I am working on the second mural at Moorhead High School. It's on the side wall of the auditorium, so you can see it from North Pierce Street. And it is the second mural that I co-designed with the art students at the high school during the end of the last school year. Um, So we sort of spontaneously created an artist residency between the um, Chamber of Commerce in Eden, the city of Eden, the high school, and then there's like an economic development committee. And... um, So we all got together in a Zoom call and sort of spontaneously created this idea that I would work with the students and help them create two mural designs, and then I would paint them. And the city came up with grant money to do this. So the first one was done on the side of the cafeteria back in May, and now this one should be complete by the end of next week. It'll be all varnished and done by Friday. Um, So this one is The other one was a more sports-oriented mural of a panther breaking out of the bricks, kind of a 3D look, Mm -hmm. and it aces the stadium. This one is a little bit different because the auditorium is used by both the high school and the city. So it's it's a multifunctional building. And um, so the mural is being painted just outside the side door where there's a patio. And it's in pretty rough shape, but they're going to they're gonna paint it and clean it up and fix it up and put some seating out there. So the mural is right there on the wall where the seating is going to be. So it's going to be like a place where during intermission or breaks from whatever's going on in the auditorium, people can go out and sit outside and enjoy that space. And it's going to look really pretty outside from when people go by. So the mural is themed more after the city where it's a landscape scene of two river, the two rivers. Coming mm-hmm. together, says the logo, Land of Two Rivers, Yep. with a little city logo, and then it says Moorhead High School across the top, and on the shore, there's, of course, a panther for the high school, so all I have left to paint is the the sand, and the panther has to be detailed, so that's going to be an, a nice addition for both the city and the school. More public art for us to enjoy. And so many young people, so many others, uh, all ages, getting exposed to what you're doing and, and really some hands-on things there at Moorhead, isn't there? Right. And with the other mural, it happened during the school year, and some of the students were able to come and assist a little bit. They're not allowed to get on ladders because of risk of injury. So, But they worked on the lower part with me a little bit. And they were invited to do this one, but I think the heat is probably pretty much driving them away. Mm. So (laughs) it's it's been really hot through this whole project. Um, And I'm having to work from like 530 in the morning until noon just to stay out of that hot time of day. So it's a little bit harder. And some of the sports have started up in the practices. So and some of the kids have summer jobs. So I haven't had any takers yet, but um, if they come in the next, Two days, on Monday and Tuesday, they might get to do something before I varnish it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I know when I heard uh, part of the presentation uh, at a city council meeting of some things you're working on, and I think Cindy Adams with the city um, made a comment about really the best temperature, temperatures to paint. So what what is that for you? There is a range, isn't there? Uh, 70 to 80 is ideal. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't get that very often. (laughs) Yeah. So I usually just uh, adjust my hours around what the weather's doing, and um, even if that means I have to work at night, in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Um, So like August, I have a couple of jobs coming up in Elon, and I will probably be doing those during the evening and the night because it's going to be in the 90s most of the time. Yeah, wow. Okay. Well, we appreciate you and uh, all of the the beautiful things uh, you're creating Um, You mentioned Elon. What are some other things coming up and some other projects that you're working on we need to know about, Mary? Well, um, I just finished with the Dream Team artist team that I had uh, put together. Just finished a a six-month program at the Reedsville Teen Center where we did a whole bunch of mural projects inside, and then we did an outside art installations. And so that just finished and wrapped up um, and finalized with the state arts council that had provided a grant for that. So 
So I've applied for another grant to continue with another program at the teen center. I will probably find out sometime later in August if that is a go or not. Um, Usually once you complete one project successfully, they're more likely to give you a grant. So fingers crossed that one's going to come through. Mm -hmm. Um, And um, just a lot percolating, talking with different people in in different places, some in the county, some out of the county. Um, I'm always talking to people. (laughs) <laughs> and in Elon, I'm not doing it at the university, but we're doing like a crosswalk project and an outdoor dining area project in the vicinity of the university. So it's nice to find spots that people congregate where everybody gets to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I know that you're always working on things and a lot you can't talk about because uh, things are, are pending and, and grant monies and all of that, too. But um right. Uh, but, you know, I, do you paint in your sleep? I, I mean, I'm, you, you never stop, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I'm not working on murals, I'm working on, you know, paintings in the studio. So I have a series going there that's also a grant project um, where I was able to get funding for the materials because sometimes I have an idea but and I can put the time into it, but if I can't get all the materials, then I, I can't do the project. So I'm working on a series now that's based in Rockingham County and I'm taking buildings around the county in all different cities and painting those buildings with murals on them that are something out of my imagination. So it's it's a really fun project, and I've completed 20 out of 30 paintings so far this year. So I've got quite 10 more to go in the next six months. Yeah, oh, that's great. Now, where can we see these? Will these uh, be on display? When I'm done... Um, you know, then I have to report back to the state and show them what I've done with the money. And then um, I will be looking for sites to do exhibits. So uh, City of Eden has already offered to do one exhibit for me, and then I'll be looking around. But right now I'm just trying to get them all done because it's a lot of work goes into every painting because I have to photograph the building, I have to figure out the best angle, and then I have to think about what would be the best kind of mural to go on this and also coming up with different ideas that people might not think of mm-hmm. um, you know doing some really imagined imaginative stuff instead of what you typically expect sure and and there, so you, there's really a lot of traveling around the county to, to initially get get the visuals there to to do the work a lot mm-hmm. i've done a lot of road trips and photo shoots uh, a lot of them in last december january and february and then didn't necessarily think, oh, and that building's not really going to work for a mural, so I go back out and do more driving around and looking. But um, it's been a really fun project, and I'll probably continue, even though I'm I only need to finish the ones I committed to this year. I'll probably do some more next year because mm-hmm. it's been really fun, and, and people have responded pretty well to seeing it when I post it online. So you can see it on my social media pages, but I haven't haven't posted it on my website, which is about two years behind schedule right now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I need to hire somebody to do it for me. <laughs> never enough time in the day. <laughs> no, no, never enough time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, that, that's exciting. I can't wait to. I'll, I'll see if I can find some of those online and uh, see what you're up to there. Um, and, and I know you, uh, you, you really haven't been in Rockingham County that long. Uh, you came here when? What year, Mary? Um, I have been here five years. Five years. So okay. I was here in 2017. I got here. We found our house in 2017 and made the transition here. So, but I pretty much um, dove right in mm-hmm. and and you know got to know people right away. And you know, it started out just with the art councils and the local circles, and then uh, slowly getting to know all the different cities and. The, all all the players, all the people who are making things happen in the different locations, because that that's really what I need to do in order to bring public art out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't sit in your studio if you're going to get public art out on the walls. You have to really do a lot of uh, networking and meeting with people and brainstorming and helping them figure out how they can find money for it. So um, that's part of my job. It's not just the painting. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and really, it's um, it, it's a uh, some some selling there involved too, because you've really got to um, introduce uh, people on many different levels that n- may never have been exposed to public art, never even thought about it, didn't have that those creative juices flowing like you do. So to introduce them and and sell them on that project, and they see the real value. Uh, so there's a lot of that uh, on the front side, isn't there? Right. Even when I worked with the students back in the, you know, by Zoom in the program back during the school year, I had, I presented to them a slideshow collection of murals from all around the world to show them all the different ideas and possibilities and how you can transform spaces with it. And they really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of outside of the box of, um, what was possible because uh, most people from here have probably seen public art primarily in Greensboro and the Greensboro public art leans more towards street art, which Mm -hmm. is a much edgier look. And, um, and that doesn't appeal to everybody. And um, I think Rockingham County is less inclined in that direction. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I I pretty much stay away from that and, and um, just, try to come up with creative or whimsical or interesting unexpected things and um, show them how to use color and design and perspective and, and all that kind of, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you've certainly made a big impact in your five years here in Rockingham County on so many people and, and I and, and so many, we, we all appreciate your talents and, uh, and making that happen and sharing that with us. Thank you for that, Mary. Well, thank you. And I'm, I'm always looking for grant opportunities that are, you know, I'm always searching online for grant opportunities and then what I could match that up with here in the county. Mm-hmm. What would be a good match? And um, when I see it, then I make phone calls and say, hey, what do you think about this? Yeah. Would you like to do this? Yeah. And, and so that's happens a lot like that that i did that with the rockingham county animal shelter and we ended up doing three different phases of mural work in there and now that that's kind of a fun place to go walk through if you want to see what public art is like because that was a very austere looking building before i oh yeah got in there with my <laughs> yeah <laughs> now it's very different that 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 changed everything that's for sure yeah 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 well, our time is just about up. Uh, maybe just another uh, minute or so here, Mary, if you have some closing thoughts. And I know we can go to your Facebook page, which is Mary E.D. Ryan. Is that the best way to, to find out what you're up to? Well, that's my personal page, but you can link to my business page from there. My, my business Facebook is A Life of Joy by Mary E.D. Ryan Art. It's kind of long. but <laughs> Right. I've got that um, here, too. Yeah, I'll mention that. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> And then on Instagram, my uh, page is at Joyful Mary E. D. Ryan Art. Okay. And I do have a website, which is woefully behind because I don't have time to update it. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but it's uh, Mary E. D. Ryan Art dot com. Okay. Mary E. D. Ryan dot com. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Mary, I know it's it's the temperature is rising as we. Uh, continue talking so you need to get back out in that and uh, stay hydrated and uh, do a little more of that painting before it gets too hot uh, there at Moorhead right. High School. Thank you, Mary. It's always great to talk to you. We'll talk again soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Bye. Bye-bye. That's our artist right here in Rockingham County that's uh, creating so many beautiful things for us to enjoy. Uh, Facebook page again, Mary E.D. Ryan. Uh, her website, uh, MaryEDRyan.com, and uh, also A Life of Joy by Mary E.D. Ryan Art. You can find that. Uh, that's the page there on Facebook as well with a lot of good information, contact information and everything for her. Get out and enjoy uh, her beautiful uh, creations all around Rockingham County.